Well, I think that goes back to knowing what it is that you can sell. Most actors, although they want to be able to sell everything, they want to be able to play everything, the bottom line for film and TV, that's just not going to happen. So knowing what it is specifically, specifically that you are able to sell, know exactly what your brand is, is extremely important. So if you are a comedic actor, of course, your target audience should be all the casting directors that do all the half-hour comedies and the half-hour comedy single camera shows that are out there. That's going to be your target audience. I always tell actors they have kind of a mixed blend on their resume. You want to have a little bit of drama, a little bit of comedy, unless your niche is one or the other. So if you are a comedic actor and you've got improv and you've got stand-up uh, and you've got a lot of half-hour comedies all over your resume, you may not get that opportunity to audition for an hour drama. But the bottom line is you're auditioning and you're selling something that people want. It's really about how you're perceived walking into the room. So if you're a comedic actor and that's how you're making your living, do that for as long as you can and there will be a time where you'll be able to switch and possibly do you know, some of the other genres. I think it's a great idea, first of all. And you, you have to be careful. You never want any of the uh, stuff that you create yourself, whether it's shot on HD or 16 millimeter or 35, the bottom line is you want to make sure, even though you might be creating it yourself, that it looks like an independent film. That's very important. If it looks like it's something you did yourself, uh, it's not going to benefit you uh, as much as you would like. Now this is great for to create a webisode. Um, and the reason that I think webisodes are so important, especially for non-union actors, is because uh, SAG is allowing uh, people who kind of create their own webisode to really uh, go and taft Hartley actors. And that's something they're doing now more and more of. So if, you're, if an actor is having a difficult time you know, getting eligible to be in the union, this is a great way to get yourself eligible to be in the union, which is create your own webisode. So you know, with YouTube and with you know, so many other outlets that are available to actors, it's really about getting your business out there. Um, there are so many different ways to do it. It doesn't have to be something that's professional necessarily. You want to make sure you're getting your brand out there. But if you're putting something on your reel and casting directors are going to be able to watch it, my recommendation would be to really make sure you have someone that can edit it professionally. That's going to save your project and make sure that it looks like it's something that maybe you didn't do, but you were cast in. Yeah, I think the most important thing for any actor, whether or not they've been doing this for a while or they're just starting out, is to know what you're selling. So start with the basics. Are you a character or are you a leading actor? Do not think that you can play both because at the end of the day, what will happen is you'll fall in between both markets and you'll end up not going out for either one. So know whether or not you're a character actor or a leading actor. So that would be the start. From there, then you're gonna to want to sell at least two or three different products. A lot of actors just sell actor, and they wanna play lots of different roles. And commercially, that might work. For film and TV, it doesn't. So you wanna make sure that you're getting specific with what you're selling. So try to sell three different versions of you, and then you're gonna see how casting directors perceive you based on you walking in the door, because they're gonna call you in again and again and again for the same roles. So know exactly what it is that you're selling and try to sell three different versions of that so you can see firsthand what casting directors are really drawn to. So you might be able to sell lawyer, you know, bad guy or you know, criminal and teacher, and maybe you never get called in for the teacher. So that's probably something that you're not going to want to sell. Uh, but you got to let casting directors get familiar with your headshots uh, as, as it gets kind of as it goes through the system. So really make sure you know exactly what it is that you're selling, and you know that's really the first step. A lot of actors just are so general with their submission because they don't worry about the business side; they're only focusing on the performance side. So it's really about both. It's about marketing your product and making sure that once you have that opportunity, that your talent's where it needs to be.